say Machita, today I'm going to inline skate. Now is the date, put on your skates. Yeah, because you're about to enter the extreme zone. It's inline, it's aggressive. It's a new age adrenaline kicking sport. Hola Machita, I'm going to skate park. Give me more and more. Because it's all about vertical skating. So Morgan, tell me about this vertical skating thing, man. Okay, man, vertical skating is, gets done on a, on a half pipe. And okay. all it means is just that you do vertical skating, which means you go up and you go down. Right? Okay. And uh, what's going to happen right now is Garrett's going to show us a couple of tricks called airs. Uh, those are tricks that, that you do up in the air. Up okay. in the air, yeah. Garrett, take it away, man. Okay, first of all, he'll be setting up for his first trick. Uh -huh. He'll do a judo grab. A judo grab. That's right. right. And then he'll come back and set up once again. Set up for your stale grab, which is gonna happen right now. Okay. Checking the background, take it out. If you think this is madness, then stick around. These guys have no fear. Yeah, I'll tell you in two, Mukarlina and Kari is a trick too. But anyway, Morgan here says he can do better than Garrett. What are you gonna show us? Well, I can try and do better. I can show you what most people wanna see, and that's just flips and stuff. Uh, first trick I'll do is a fake you by 540, and I'll do okay. a 360. Okay, whoa, 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 a fake you. We, we're not faking anything. Yo, this man, is for, everything's this is for real, real, man. This is TV, man. Well, everybody says it's fake. I'll show you it's for real, man. Real is the word. There's nothing fake about Morgan's performance. Watch and learn, because this dude is talented. In fact, in the skating world, they'd probably call him a vigilant. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, a fakey means that you go backwards. Thanks, Musa. Now it all makes sense. Well, if he can do this kind of stuff backwards, I wonder what he does when he goes forwards. Mind-blowing stuff. When you're on a vert ramp, there's two things you got to remember. is your position and not to be afraid. Okay. When we start out, we assume when we approach the coping, we'll first of all, got to bend our knees, keep your arms out, and always look forward into the ramp that you're about to drop into. Okay? So I'm going to demonstrate. Bend your knees, skate down and up. Well, simple when you know how. This thing is like very unsafe. What makes you keep on doing it like all the time, man? Well, um, basically, it's like you wake up and all you can think about is rollerblading. Like you try and see if you can get a new trick every day. Yeah. And just the thrill of knowing that you've accomplished a new trick all right. just makes you want to rollerblade even more. It's something you love, you live in it, it's a lifestyle. If I like fell, fall down or fail, as they say, while I'm trying a new trick, what should I do, man? Well, the best thing to do is to get up and try it again yeah. because you'll never know until you've done it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, practice makes perfect. So, tell me about this whole skateboarding, rollerblading war that's going on. <laughs> Rollerblader is a guy who keeps it real. He has no attitude and has no problems with what, you, what you're doing as long as you're rolling. And you get a wood which has got a whole lot of attitude and he thinks he's all that, but not actually. And they're actually whack. But check it out. Those guys are called wood pushers. When we said you need a different mindset to do this sport, we weren't kidding. These guys occupy a different space on the planet. They are free spirits who have no fear, no rules, and it shows. Yo, Morgan, there were some pretty cool things you did there. So tell me, if I want to get into it, what must I do? Okay, first of all, uh, always remember to get safety gear, safety gear. Uh, which normally consists of, okay, number one, okay, we have a wrist guard here. Wrist guard. This you wear around your wrist to protect your wrist, all right. uh, to sort of prevent uh, major injuries on your wrist. Okay, okay, cool. That's what they call wrist guard. Cool. Okay, then we have a, a knee guard. A knee guard. So you put onto your, your, onto knee. your knee, right? Okay. And that will protect your kneecap from splitting in half because you've had some very fatal accidents. All right. Okay, then we have an elbow guard, elbow which guard. we put on the elbow. All right, cool. Okay, that's in case if you come off the ramp and you slide, you don't graze your arm and hurt yourself and yeah food. okay then most of all to keep all the brains inside oh yeah yeah <laughs> okay we have a helmet okay this is one of the most important tools that you got to have for while road okay? okay cool it's advised and we sometimes we don't use it uh, but we've been doing this for quite some time with professionals and we train okay so and we guys we're safety safety first riding at top speeds and performing amazingly breathtaking skills combining both body and mind is all in a day's work Oh, I'm still all here. Guys, I know about how what's on about practice hard and look after you come on.
Ik zeg maar, Chita, today I'm going to inline skate. Now is the date. Put on your skates. But be warned, you'll be up against some of the top skaters in Crazy Lane. And when it comes to the word crazy, these guys give it new meaning. They have no fear, and it shows. Man, that was some radical stuff you guys were doing out there, huh? So, um, tell me, if I want to do that, what do I do? Well, first you're gonna have to need some safety equipment, okay, like cool. this. These are some elbow pads, a knee pad. Okay. Probably, definitely, yeah, you'll need a helmet. Now. When you see the tricks they perform and the speed they perform them at, I think a helmet is a great idea. And if you're new at the game, it's essential. This is not a sport for the faint-hearted or the timid. These guys take the sport to infinity and beyond. And getting hurt is all part of the deal. So, what are the worst injuries that you guys have had? Well. I don't know, I've broken bones, had my collarbone broken, Oof. lots of stitches, wrists broken, John's head. So, what do you guys do to get hurt like that, man? I mean, <laughs> you guys are supposed to be pro skaters or something like that, right? Uh, well, the first protective gear is your mind, and if you think you can do it, then you go for it, and sometimes it doesn't happen like you think it's yeah. going to happen, you see? But that's all with practice, and you think you're going to get better, and you get better, and you do it. Sometimes it's a lot about focus as well, you know? That's how you fall a lot of the time. Your focus is maybe somewhere else, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. you don't really watch what you're doing cool. as well. Don't think, just do it. And I guess once you're into that mindset, there's no going back. Park skating. This is this just mimics the streets yeah. out there where the cars are, and this is just less dangerous for say if you want to learn something. Yeah. If you like new at the sport, you come here and you learn, really? and then uh, like guys like us, we go out into the streets and. and Dodge the cars and yeah, yeah, jump yeah. the buildings and you know that sort of thing. Yeah. Street skating is a culture all on its own. When they get all psyched up, they just hit the streets. Yeah. If you're still not 100% sure of what street skating is, then watch and learn. These guys skate on everything and anything they can lay their skates on. Watch and be mesmerized. What advice do you have to give? to me and the crazy viewers out there? Well, definitely wear some protective gear. Take it slow at the beginning. Don't try any of the big things. Stay on the little things and just practice and practice and you'll get better. It's all about practice. Yeah. It's definitely what it's about. And you have to have a bit of a bit of guts or something, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> some people might think these guys have completely lost it. But they're not only unbelievably talented in their skill and have nerves of steel, but they really love what they do. Now guys, I've realized that it's like not all play, it's a lot of work. So tell me like the whole technical aspect of this thing. Well, there's a lot of technical stuff to got to do with rollerblading, like the way you place your feet. Like, a lot of footwork. Yeah, a lot of footwork. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. Footwork, yeah. <laughs> there are yeah. lots of footwork, like the way you place your feet. Even yeah. the smallest little detail could change the thing completely. Changes your balance, yeah. you've got to lean a different way. Yeah. Or, With right. precision and exact timing, these guys break new boundaries and make new rules. They're not called inline aggressive skaters for nothing. We've been doing this for like so long now. What makes you keep on going on and going on and going on? Oh, you have to love it. I love it. That's why I come here every day yeah. and do it. You know, I've been doing it for eight years already. So once you're hooked, you're hooked, and there's no turning back. Oh, I'm still all here, guys. I know back out. What's on our now? Practice hard and okay, come on. Machita, today I'm going to inline skate. Now is the date. Put on your skates. Yeah, because you're about to enter the extreme zone. It's inline, it's aggressive, it's a great new adrenaline kicking sport. Oh, Machita, I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm going to get Morgan or Angutse to skate. 
there he goes, Muso the Brave, Muso the Warrior. With a bit of help and practice, he might be able to do these moves one day. So guys, I'm ready. What do I need first? Well, safety first, my friend. All right. You need some pads, a helmet, and then your skates on. Cool. As with any adventurous sport, there are certain safety precautions you need to take. That way, you get to have the time of your life, but you also ensure that tomorrow is another day to have some fat fun. And besides putting on the gear for protection, it looks cool too. So one, two, three, and Muso's ready to go. Fasten your helmet, man. Oh, okay. The best piece of safety equipment that you can have besides your brain. Sick, you'll definitely be all right. And once you're all geared up, you're ready to hit the half pipe for some flip flops and flop flips. But in Muso's case, you need to learn how to walk before you can fly. Just push side to side. And yeah. Then, uh, and the easy there. thing is, keep one foot in front of the other so that you have balance to fall to the back and something to help you to fall to the front. Okay. And always Check, bend so your knees. If you fall back, you've got this foot, and if you fall forward, you've got this. And keep your knees nicely bent. And now it's time to put these wise words into practice. I'm ready for this. Here where agility is the password and balance the name of the game, there's no place for fear. Once you hit the playground, it's every man for himself, pushing your abilities to the ultimate limit. The cool thing about rollerblading is that there's no end to what you can do. On this playground, the sky is truly the limit. Okay, right, Musa. Now we're gonna show you how to do a mark your grind. Mark That's your grind. a mark your grind. That's mark right. Mark your grind. That's right. Okay. Okay, you're gonna place your sole foot like this. Okay, flat. And what you need is you're gonna be sliding across this bar. Okay. Just call the rail. Okay. Okay, cool. so you're gonna go up to that ramp and you're gonna come here and just gonna place your foot and lift up your one leg. And that should be fine. Okay. The challenge is on, but will Musa be able to take the heat? That was amazing. Let's check that out again. Yay! Okay, Machito, I wanna try to get it. I'm gonna 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 try to get it. And if you wanna see balance at its best, just watch on, because these guys definitely know what they're doing. Being a pro doesn't mean you don't make mistakes, though. It all boils down to the old saying practice makes perfect. Guys, if that happens to you, just get up, do it again, man. Meanwhile, our brave, fearless, and absolutely crazy warrior is still learning the basics. If blading sounds like your type of thing, there's only one thing to remember. Just keep on trying. A lot of guys take up rollerblading, but they soon quit out of frustration. But if you want to glide over the half pipes like the pros do, you're gonna have to stick around. It's a long and difficult road to super skating. But if you're keen for a challenge, nothing's gonna stand in your way. Wow. <laughs> well guys, I can tell you something. From down there, it looks so easy, but when you're up here with these wheels and you're doing it, it is very, very difficult. Okay, now guys, how do I do this in style? Well, come over here, man. You gotta kind of bend your knees a little. Just bend to my knees a feel little. really relaxed, bend your knees. Okay. One foot slightly in front of the other, and then lean a bit forward as you go down the ramp, just All a right. tiny bit. Come and check how you do, man. Alright, cool. Uh, one, two, whoopee! <laughs> you see, even the smallest bit of practice makes the difference. Rollerblading. It's fat, it's fast, it's cool, and it definitely beats school. Oh, I'm still all here. Guys, hello, Bakao. What's on our water? Practice hard and Okafi come on. Machita, today recovery in inline skater. No the date, put on your skates. It's wild and wicked, fat and fun. Come join the experts for a way out rollerblading run. The cool thing about rollerblading is that there's more to it than just speed. So instead of just closing your eyes and hoping for the best, with blading you get to put yourself to the test. I'm talking about the tricks, so listen up. First one's called the backside rail. 
Um, that I call it. You call it a backside because your back is facing the rail, and a rail is just your foot positioning. And that one, I'm gonna try to go flat and down the kink. If you thought that one was cool, check this out. It starts with a simple twirl in midair, of course, followed by another and another and another, and then just to add some spice to the trick, hurling up the half pipe and skidding on the edge finishes it off. Impressive. The first trick I did was in the hip section, it's a 360 and it was on like a little 90 degree angle. Second trick I did was I slid across the, the top of the quarter pipe, which is the, the half shaped ramp over there, which was the, with the top sole grind, which is a sole grind but you on the top leaning out, so it makes it a bit extra difficult. Totally unreal, but for these guys, it's all in a day's work. So, what are the worst injuries that you guys have had? Eh? Well... I don't know, I've broken bones, had my collarbone broken, Oof. lots of stitches, wrists broken, John's had... Uh, same broken ankles, stitches, lots of bruises, grazes, cuts. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it after a while. Yeah. yeah. You become friendly with the ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> Rollerblading isn't the safest sport out there, and that's why it's extremely important to always wear your protective gear. Because no matter how good you are, chances are pretty good that you'll fall every now and again. But whatever you do, don't give up. I am Machitana Antwembu, they're part of PWC. Bakona Grafita, Bakona Skater, Bakona Upipo, yeah. Stau Sabona Sintwembu, as you can see. Here's another trick to blow your mind away. This dude obviously has what it takes, controlling his speed, balance and movements as if they were chess pieces. All it takes is a bit of practice and you too could be flying over half pipes in true professional style. This trick is called the corkscrew 540. It's called that because it's a 540 degree spin and uh, it's quite difficult to do. Sometimes it takes lots of practice. Uh, the trick is a sole grind and on this trick you got to watch out for your exit because sometimes it's easier to come out backwards than forwards. Backwards, forwards, up or down. It's all the same for a true rollerblader. Next up is Matt and he's about to show off the tricks up his sleeve. Without thinking twice, or so it seems, he flips into mid-air and lands safely on a set of roller wheels. And everybody's okay with this? The first trick I did was called a 450 with a Liu Kang grab in the middle. Just a styled out trick. The second trick was a 540 over the box. Just means you do lots of spins and it's really hard. Come rain or shine, you'll always find these crazy dudes having the time of their lives on the half pipes. Rollerblading, it's a way of life. Oh, I'm still all here. Guys, hello, Bakao. What's on our now? Practice hard and okafi come on. Today we are going to be skate. No is the date. Put on your skate. Put on those blades. It's time to head for the half pipe. It's inline. It's aggressive. It's the most fun you'll ever have. And today the bread pack will reveal all their hidden secrets. Uh, my name is John. I'm 20 years old. I've been rollerblading for eight years now, and I'm never going to stop. So show us what you got. I'm going to try two tricks on that rail. The first one's called the backside rail. Um, that I call it you call it a backside because your back is facing the rail and a rail is just your foot positioning and That one I'm gonna try to go flat and down the kink Well, whatever you call it. It looks amazing, but tell us what are your hobbies? I like rollerblading it Gives me a lot less problems than uh, girls do so that's my that's my love. I enjoy weight training um, I enjoy learning about Chinese culture 
um, just sort of philosophies and just the, their way of life. So, not only is John a sweet freak of note, but he's also got a sensitive side, which is all part of being a true rollerblader. Show us another trick, John. My second trick is called the backside farfanugan. Again, um, my back is to the rail and the farfanugan is just your foot positioning. And I'm going to try to switch it up to a, a backslide, which is on one foot. So I'm going to go backside farfanugan to backside backslide. And it's just the technicality makes it a bit harder to sort of jump from one grind into another. It's all about foot positioning, really. But why do you rollerblade? I rollerblade because uh, it's probably the biggest challenge I've ever been presented with, physically and mentally. Take a lot of togetherness with me and my friends, and I enjoy that. I don't know what else I'd do if I, wouldn't, if I didn't rollerblade. So you see, rollerblading isn't just a sport, it's a lifestyle. But now it's time to meet another member of this extreme team. And he's the best street skater in good old SA. Hi, my name is Byron. I'm 19 years old. I've been skating for about eight years and I really enjoy rollerblading. I think I'll keep doing it for a long time. This trick is called the Corkscrew 540. It's called that because it's a 540 degree spin and uh, it's quite difficult to do. Sometimes it takes lots of practice. Apart from rollerblading, I also enjoy doing Kung Fu. I'm studying at WITS right now doing computer science and um, I really like girls and eating and sleeping, all the usual stuff, I'm not just rollerblader. That might be true, but when he's on skates, there's no stopping him. Uh, this other trick is called a sole grind. Uh, it's called that because you're grinding on the sole of your one foot and the other foot is in the middle. And on this trick you got to watch out for your exit because sometimes it's easier to come out backwards than forwards. Rollerblading to me is a form of self-expression. I think it's really beautiful the way everyone has their own style to skating and they do all the different tricks and that kind of thing. But there's a lot more to rollerblading than 360s and soul grinders. It's all about having fun and chilling out with your friends in true crazy style. And with this guy, getting down takes on a totally different meaning. My name is Morgan, I'm 20 years old. I'm one of the top 10 in South Africa. Uh, apart from rollerblading, I do graphic and web design. I also break dance, DJ, uh, I graffiti sometimes, and rollerblade. Anything to keep me busy, that's basically all. The tricks I did early on was a fakie by 540. So what it basically means is fakie is when you're rolling backwards and uh, you do a 360 degree turn with the 180 after that. What's the best thing about rollerblading? The best feeling in the world is like when you like do one of the tricks that you've been trying for so many days and weeks and one day you finally just do it. That's one of the best feelings I could say. Remember, all these moves might seem tricky now, but with a bit of practice, it's as easy as child's play. Or so I've heard. Second trick I'm, um, I'm doing is a 360. That's just a 360 degree turn with the um, safety grab. Well, life is just about, uh, if you have like certain missions you want to conquer, go out and do it. Life is just one big mission, man. And if you can do it, then just do it. That's all I can say. If you do something, do it with all your heart. From the heart to the half pipe, it's time to meet yet another member of the Brat Pack and he's about to show us all the blading tricks up his sleeves. But first, here's a little introduction. Uh, I love rollerblading but also I love girls and more girls and a little bit more girls. But also some graffiti, down with that some hip hop. Me and my friends would do some freestyling, it's pretty cool. The first trick I did was on the hip section, it's a 360 and it was on like a little 90 degree angle. Timba! Guys, if that happens to just get up and do it again, man. And what is PWC? PWC is like our clique, our group. It's pack weight, poor white children, people who can, plants with calyxes, it's all that sort of thing. It's a different, it's a, whole, it's a whole spectrum of things. Second trick I did was I slid across the, the top of the quarter pipe, which is the, the half shaped ramp over there, which was the, with the top soul grind, which is a soul grind, but you on the top leaning out, so it makes it a bit extra different. Cool as a cat and agile as a monkey. It's time to meet the last menace of the Brat Pack. What's up? I'm Matt. I've been skating for six years now. I dig it because it's the bomb. The first trick I did was called a 450 with a Liu Kang grab in the middle. Just a style out trick. I like rollerblading. I enjoy Kung Fu. I've also been found to spray some graffiti. But once he hits the half pipe, there's no stopping him. The second trick's a 540, which refers to how many rotations you do. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? <laughs> no, it's mad! Life's about chilling with your friends, skating, having fun, nothing more than that. So what are you waiting for, crazy peeps? Learn to inline skate and you'll know what it feels like to fly. Yeah, machita la bona, camera mona, ki PWC. They're part of hip-hop 
and man, hey, bantu mo machita na stanza bona sanchata. Fere, fere, machimos.